Right. So, in other words, he hates me even more now than he did before. You might say that. Yeah. <laughs> That's terrific. Yeah. Now he'll never accept the idea of Teresa and me being together. There's only one reason why he'd be sticking up for Ethan Crane. Let me explain. What's to explain? You fantasized about him ever since you were a little girl. Mama told me that you had dreams about him every night. Yes, it's true. Right, so you imagined that you were in love with him and you thought you'd always share a life together. And I never doubted for a minute it would come true. <laughs> Talk about things that'll never happen. What? Not that I blame you for wanting to live out some real-life Cinderella story. You know, you always had the most active imagination out of everyone in our family. So, I guess what happened is that you built Ethan up as your fantasy Prince Charming for so long that even when you grew up and knew better, you held on to the idea that he was an okay guy. No, no that's not how I see him, Louis. <sighs> well, hallelujah for that. I've been praying for the day that you realized he was a sleaze in expensive shoes. Say that. Oh. Guess I jumped the gun. Guess you haven't realized the truth about him yet. Look, I'm not trying to upset you, all right, sis? I'm just telling you how it is. Just because Ethan is young and smiles nice for those society magazines, that doesn't make him any less of a sleaze than his father or grandfather. He's even more dangerous because he knows how to charm people. That is not true. Look, I know him. And you don't. You'll never know how thankful I am for that. But what if I had met him, Luis? And what if I still thought he was hey, wonderful? Hey, don't even go there, all right? Unless your idea of a good time is being sent off to Amarias. You would actually send me away. I'd send you away for life. The man keeping you safe from Ethan Crane. You're serious? I'm dead serious. Teresa, I love you, all right? I'd do anything it takes to keep you safe from Ethan Crane to protect you. Well, just thank God that you met some nice young guy who makes you happy. Look, whoever he is, I'm sure he's worth a thousand Ethan Cranes, all right? I would never look at another woman. You believe me, don't you? So you're not going to have any illegitimate children knocking at the back door looking for daddy? <laughs> you have my word. <laughs> you're all I've ever wanted. Mm, I love you too, Sam. And thank you for being such a good sport. Wait, wait, wait. Where did that come from? Well, you could have refused to go to the party tonight. Oh, well, now you tell me. <sighs> well, believe me, I wouldn't have pushed it if I didn't think it was important. Mm. I thought you just wanted to see the inside of the fabulous Hotchkiss Mansion. I've got other reasons. I mean, the Hotchkisses are one thing, but the Cranes are quite another. They wield a lot of influence in this town, Sam. This is news? Oh, you just hear me out. I mean, like it or not, the Cranes control just about every major business in this town. Whether it's outright or from behind the scenes. And they make every major decision concerning the schools, the hospital, the police department. Yeah, don't tell me. Well, doesn't it make more sense to endure the occasional party or dinner if it's going to ensure your job? Look, I'm not so now, sure. Don't give me that, Sam. I remember the look on your face when you were named chief of police. It was a big day. Yeah, you know, it was more than that. It's a culmination of a lot of dedication and hard work. I mean, you fought for that job, Sam. And I know that one day you're hoping to be named state police commissioner. We'll see. Well, I'm no political guru, but I don't think it's going to happen if you keep having these run-ins with Ethan. I, you know, he has a lot of power on the police board, and you can't afford to make an enemy of him. He is the one that vowed to come at me, Grace. <sighs> well, Sam... Rise above it. I mean, just try to get along, and I think tonight might be a good time to start. I'll try. You know, I remember when you first met him, you actually liked him. You thought he wasn't anything like his dad or his grandfather. Yeah, now I know better. Well, and I thought he looked so much like you and Noah that he could be your son. 
Grace, we're going to be spending the evening with them. I mean, do we still have to talk about them now, too? Okay. Besides, I know how we could kill some time. Oh, you do, do you? What would that be? <laughs> you know what, Sam? I, I don't think we have quite enough time for that. And besides, I have to take a shower. Aha! What a coincidence! So what? <laughs> Okay, we got pretty much all the sleeping bags, uh, flashlights, and a lantern, if we need it. Oh, we'll need it, all right. Weather Channel's predicting heavy cloud cover tonight. So it'll be pitch black up in those hills without the stars. Maybe we should wait for a clear night. Scaredy cat. You're not nervous, are you? No, it's just that I've never been camping before, and I don't want to get in the way. <sighs> She's been in the way ever since she barged into my town. You couldn't be in the way if you tried. And I'll teach you everything you need to know about camping. Not that it matters. You'll be with me the whole time anyway. I'll even put my sleeping bag right next to yours. Miguel. Okay. Miguel wants to be with his girlfriend. How are you going to stop him? I don't know yet. But I will figure something out. Lots of things can happen in the dark to someone as accident prone as charity. Princess can't drop a bomb like that without explaining more. Timmy's too young to die. And Princess looks very good for her age. Damn! I just saw that pain in the neck Reese through the window and he's still holding on to that ruddy pendant. Oh, I could only find a way to get it away from him and back on charity. No! No, Princess! The last time Charity was wearing that pendant, she turned evil. She tried to kill Timmy and Tabitha. Yes, but we'll just have to take our chances, Timmy. Evil Charity is the only one who can stop those kids ferreting around up there. Tabitha still hasn't told Timmy. What's she so afraid of? Don't ask. It's just too grisly to even speak about. <laughs> Sam, Sam. Sam. Can I help it that you're so sexy that I can't take my hands off of you? How about... After the party. Well, how long did you say we had to stay there anyway? Mm -hmm. Well, just long enough for everyone to know that we were there. Well, huh. I'm going to be counting the minutes. Hey, didn't you wear that on New Year's Eve? Yeah. It's the nicest dress I have. Why well, don't you like it? Oh, I think it's beautiful. I just wish you had more time to go out and buy yourself something new. I don't need anything new. I'll just wear different jewelry and no one will know the difference except you. Well, my lips are sealed. And you're still going to be the most sexy, hmm. smart, <laughs> beautiful woman there anyway. Uh, you're just saying that because you are stuck with me. Oh, really? Mm -hmm. Want me to prove it? I, 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 I thought it was fashionable to be late to things like this. Sam! Come on, Simone. Let's go finish packing. I'll lend you whatever else you need. <clears throat> I'm gonna borrow one of my mom's negligees. She'll kill you. So what? It's worth it if it turns my gal on when I'm in his sleeping bag. And where's Charity gonna be when you're vamping up with her boyfriend? I'll figure something out. Okay. If you haven't noticed, Charity and Miguel are like Siamese twins. They practically start hyperventilating when they're away from each other more than five minutes. Take a look. Things change. When we get back from our little camping trip, I'm going to be Jennifer Aniston to Miguel's Brad Pitt. I just hate to see you put yourself in a situation where you're bound to get hurt and humiliated. You'll see who regrets going on this trip. You really scare me when you talk that way. 
It's not like I have to do anything to Charity. I mean, wherever she goes, it gets weird. But, you know, frankly, I worry about Miguel's safety when he's with her. She's not right. You're just jealous! <sighs> There's got to be a way to chase this pit.